Hello and welcome to the OGHS Library channel with Mrs. Berg. I'm Mrs. Berg and today we're going to be taking a look at one of my absolutely favorite AI tools for educators that's out there right now and it is School AI. Um, so with School AI, as of right now when I'm recording this video on October 3rd, 2023, uh, School AI is free for educators to sign up for an account for. It's got um, all of these free features that you can utilize in your classroom. There is, of course, a paid subscription, um, but for for the most part, the free is going to be more than enough for most educators. And I'll kind of talk about some of those details a little bit later. So the sign up is pretty easy. Um, when you're on School AI, it's just schoolai.com. You can just hit the free for teachers button and then it'll take you to a page where you can kind of create your account. Now, I already have an account. Um, it's a pretty standard sign up process. So I'm actually going to go back and I'm just going to sign in. And I'm going to continue with Google because I just used my school Google account and it'll sign me in. And this is kind of the home page and what this looks like. Now, there are a lot of um, AI tools out there specifically designed with teachers in mind to create all sorts of things, to create lesson plans and unit plans and worksheets and, and on and on and on. Right. Even chat GPT, if you're familiar with that platform, can kind of do all of those functions for you as a teacher. It can generate any sort of like educational content that you need. Um, so it does have that capability called the co-teacher. That's kind of the page that we're on here. It's basically chat GPT, but just in a more um, like educational friendly format. But that's not what I want to talk to you about today, and that's not why this is my favorite tool. I actually have a different tool that I like um, for doing this side of the teacher -y stuff, and I'll talk about that in another video. But today, I want to focus on School AI's Spaces. And so we're going to navigate there. It's just on the left-hand toolbar, you hit Spaces. This is why this is my current favorite AI tool for teachers um, because of the Spaces feature. So the Spaces feature, what it does is when you click on it, it'll take you to this page. And these are all different spaces that are pre-designed with educational settings in mind. And they're to utilize as an interactive AI space with your students. And this is what I love. Okay, so this is a safe way to allow students to utilize AI in the classroom. One of the biggest um, hurdles that I think AI is facing right now is that it's unsafe for students, um, specifically ChatGPT. Students, in my opinion, should not be utilizing ChatGPT because first of all, you have to be 16 to create an account, at least here in the United States. And then second of all, um, when you create an account with ChatGPT and you interact with the chatbot, it's mining your data and it's watching everything that you do. And that's something that students, because they're not versed in the area of artificial intelligence or technology, they really shouldn't be interacting it with a platform that is mining their data. So School AI creates these spaces where students can safely interact with AI in a way that's completely anonymous, doesn't access their data at all. They don't even need to sign in in order to use these spaces. So I'll kind of walk you through what's available, but literally there are spaces for every single subject. You can see all of the subjects up here at the top um, and they have all of these kind of pre-made spaces for you, such as tutoring session, where you can literally start a tutoring session on any topic of your choosing so your students can interact with the AI and use it as their own personal tutor. Um, really awesome, right? The book explorer is so fun. So basically you can choose any piece of literature that's out there in the world and uh, students can kind of be put into that book and they're asked questions about that book and they interact, they can interact with like characters and scenes from that book. And there's just so many others, right? Historical figure chatbot. So you can have, you can have the AI adopt the voice of any historical figure um, and the students can have a conversation with them. If you keep scrolling down, you can see all of these other pre-made ones, you know, mental health, Native American history space, uh, debate space, there's sports spaces, 
is. There's just so many things. Oh, I'm just so excited, like sitting here talking about it. If you yourself don't maybe understand AI or you want your students to understand AI better, there's an understanding AI space. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is we're actually going to start one of these spaces so I can show you what it looks like from both the teacher and the student perspective. I'm going to do the tutoring session just because I do think it has so many applications in the classroom and it's especially great um, for differentiating instruction. And then while I'm here, I'm just going to kind of point this out. So you, the free version offers you 150 participants in any given space within the time frame of a day. Okay, so within 24 hours. So that's why I said for most educators, that'll probably be fine. If you are kind of pushing the limit of having 150 students or you have over 150 students, then you might encounter problems and that's where you might want to upgrade. But as of right now, recording this video, you can have 150 student participants in any space in any given day. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start this. Um, you know, English is my background, so I'm just going to choose an English topic for us to start with, and we will say, um, you know, grammar. Let's do parts of speech. Parts of speech, grammar. So any topic, just a short description of what topic you want to focus on, and then you hit start session. This is how your students will get into that space that you just created. They can either scan this QR code or you can copy and um, share the link out with your students to access the space. So this is what it's going to look like from the student perspective. If you share that link, it'll automatically populate the space code for them and then they can just enter their name and they don't even have to enter any any other data. They don't have to enter their full name. They don't have to do whatever they don't want to do. So I'm just going to put Mrs. Berg just as an example, and I'll hit join. And then this is what it looks like, again, from the student perspective. So as a student, I'm brought into this tutoring session space, and every student will have their own tutoring session space. So they'll be acting with their own personal AI tutor. And it just starts out by asking, you know, what specific outcome or score are you aiming for? Like as if I'm studying for a test over parts of speech. Um, so I want to get an A, right? And then it'll talk about this. So here are the following options that I can do. Create a study plan, work on specific content areas, or explore test taking strategies. Um, I want to do number two, right? Work on specific content area. So then what particular parts of speech would you like to focus on? Are there any specific topics or concepts you find challenging? So it really, it, it's specifically tailored to the student. So maybe I say, I don't under, and I'm going to do some typos here just to show you that the AI will still be able to understand even if your students do have some spelling errors. So maybe I don't understand, um, oh gosh, what's the part of speech? Uh, adverbs, right? So maybe I don't understand adverbs. No problem. Adverbs can be, so even though I had spelling errors, it still understands. Okay, now it gives me all of this information, but oh my gosh, that's really overwhelming for me. So maybe can you simplify, sim, well, I can't even spell anyway, simplify that. Okay, and it'll, it'll kind of break it down for me. Now, um, if I struggle with reading, there is this speak option that you can click. It does take a minute to generate the speak option. So I'll click. Oh. Okay, so that actually went really fast. Sometimes it does take a little bit longer to generate that speaking. So you can see that they can also have it like read it out loud to them, which is super awesome. Now, this is the student perspective. So the students can, you know, interact with the AI on that given topic in whatever capacity they want. And one thing that I do want to point out before I leave is that if a student tries to get off topic, the AI will not let them when you're in this tutoring session, which is one of my favorite aspects about these spaces. So, for example, I'm going to say, I'm bored. Tell me a joke. Right. So the AI will tell them a joke. Right. But then it'll also try to get them back on track. Um, give me a recipe. Let's see if it tries to get us back on track here. So it'll give me a recipe. Is there anything else I can assist you with? 
right? Now, I will say the tutoring session isn't as good at getting students back on track as some of the other spaces. For example, I really love the foreign language spaces. There are different spaces um, for pretty much any foreign language you can think of. I've been playing around with the Spanish Cafe, which is a space specifically focused on Spanish. And anytime I try to get off track in the Spanish Cafe, it constantly brings me back to practicing my Spanish. Um, it won't let me like get off track from practicing Spanish. So there are a lot of ways that you can utilize this in your classroom. That's the student perspective. Now I'm going to flip back over to my teacher page. Okay, so this is my teacher perspective over here. Um, and all of my students as they're interacting will populate under the participants column. And I could click on any student and see exactly the conversation that they've been having with the AI, which is so cool, right? Um, and it also gives me insights. So, I, you know, Mrs. Berg expect express difficulty in understanding adverbs. Um, it would be helpful to provide additional explanations and it'll keep populating those insights as I continue interacting with the AI. They also give a really nice um, snapshot of how your students are feeling on the topic overall. So you can see I have a smiley face next to me, which means I'm in a good mood. But if I continue to interact and be like, um, you know, I hate this, this is so dumb and kind of stuff like that, I apologize, let me know, I just don't get it. I'm gonna see if I can get my emoji to change a little bit here. Um, what even are parts of speech, you know? So maybe I'm just like really struggling and I don't understand. Now I'm gonna go back to the teacher side and you'll see that my emoji did change to a frowny face because I'm not doing so well, right? I'm getting really frustrated interacting with the AI. I'm not understanding what I'm doing. So it is really great like live feedback for the teacher to figure out exactly where your students are at on whatever topic you know, you're working with your students on. When you're done with a session, you can end it. You can also pause it if you want your students to just like take a break from it. Maybe you need to talk to them. So I come back here as the student and I'm not able to type because this session has been paused, right? So then I'm not able to interact with my AI. And then if my teacher ends the session, so I'll just end it. We'll get this kind of summary generation going here. And then from the student perspective, you can see that the session has completely ended. Um, so I, I absolutely adore the spaces. I just think they're such a great tool for um, interacting with our students in whatever capacity they need, right? So it's really a tool designed with students in mind um, and educators. And again, you can um, utilize some of these features as educators as well. So they also have the tools, which I would be remiss not to show you. Okay, so the tools are again, designed with educators in mind, and they have all of these different things that you can generate for yourself based on kind of what you're looking for. So I know, you know, teachers spend a lot of time making lesson plans and worksheets and all of that. So if I hit generate a lesson plan, it'll ask me for some details, like maybe my topic is parts of speech, my grade level, we'll say is nine, um, focus on adverbs and adjectives. Okay. And then you can add common core standards if you want to, you hit generate. And again, it'll just kind of generate a lesson plan for you over what you prompted it to do. And there are a lot of AI tools out there that do stuff like that. So again, this is not necessarily my favorite for that aspect. I like school AI more for its spaces that are available. And uh, I hope that you find it, you're ex as excited as I am um, because I think it's a really awesome and useful tool that uh, can really get students starting to interact with AI in a safe environment and in a productive way that kind of keeps them on track. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and I will see you next time.